and all the ads, these look attractive, but when you look at it, it's like a McDonald's burger, you know? I always look great in the ad, and you look at it, and it's just a chicken nugget on a piece of bread. Like, it's just shit. Fairly nondescript uh, lager, from what I can make out. It's gotta be some sort of a, a pale American style lager. Pale, light beer, and very clear. It smells like something I've definitely drank before, which is, I suppose, worrying. To me, this smells like softball, actually. It has that sweetness that you'd associate with, with a pale lager. It's very fizzy, and it tastes kind of like nothing. Yeah, it's fairly nondescript, really. Yeah, if I was picking a ping pong ball out of the glass, I'd probably drink it. I'd give it a five. Good lie, wow. Yeah, there you go. That would be probably one of my least favorite beers. I can't remember the last time I had Bud Light. What is Bud Light? Is it, is it low in alcohol? Is it low in calories? Is it low in carbs? It's like... It's so inoffensive. It's kind of, you know, it's the epitome of average. Okay, looks exactly the same as the last one. <laughs> it doesn't look like a beer, does it? It smells a bit like dishwashing soap. Wah. Oh God. Don't like that. <laughs> the smallest amount of, uh, of malted barley, um, if they've used it at all. It tastes like pennies, basically. I get a two out of ten. I wouldn't give much more than that. I'm disappointed, but I'm not surprised. I just find nothing refreshing about this beer. Every time you filter something, you, you generally you drink, you're generally uh, stripping out a little bit of flavour. So they've done a good job stripping out flavour. Much more of a head on this beer. It's actually a good sign. There's a, at least there's a there's a head that's actually there. There's literally no aroma off this. That's literally just smells like an empty glass with water in it. No, no that's disappointing. I was actually thinking that that actually could could taste or something. I feel literally nothing towards this beer. It, it exists. It's definitely a beer. I would hope it would get me drunk. There's no malt built to it, there's no hop finish to it, there's no hop start to it, there's no hop aroma to it. I'd probably, I'd, I'd probably rate that the, the lowest, to be honest. That's about a three, I'd, I'd say. Oh, that's Canadian. Wow. I'm actually surprised it doesn't taste worse than I remember. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty crap there, to be honest with you. This looks incredibly different. I have high hopes for this one. Oxidized aroma to it. Is it possible there's even less flavour? I mean, it's a really light, light malt flavor in there maybe. It's refreshing, although it's cold, so that's that's a good start for those kind of beers. Cold is one of the better flavors, you know. Mm, I'd give that a two, probably. Ah, uh, it's cause light, of course it's gonna be cause light. I'm from Colorado actually, so it's really depressing. This is the beer I avoid at all costs. And I love how they say, you know, cold, make it make it as cold as, uh, as possible, just, just, just to make sure that there is absolutely no flavor coming in at all. Me, it's just a waste of water and a waste of electricity. I mean, as a craft brewer, it makes me, it makes me feel that there's, a, there's, there's great opportunities still to be had. These add as, you know, as mild an ingredient they can find, and then as it's processed, take away even more from that to just leave nothing behind to just make basically sparkling piss water. No, it's not. I, don't know, I keep picking it up because it's beer and I'm likely to drink it and I'm just like, not to help myself.